Hi, good morning. Today I am going to explain to you about the visual source shape VSS. One of the software configuration management tool. Majority of the IT industries are going to prefer the VSS. Here I am going to explain to you what is VSS. As a test engineer, what type of activities we are going to perform in this VSS? Visual Source Save. It is a software configuration management tool from Microsoft. It is a software configuration management tool. SCM also we are going to call SCM software configuration management tool from Microsoft. What is the meaning of this software configuration management? It is a process of identifying, organizing, and controlling changes to the software during development and maintenance is called software configuration management. That means we need to identify what type of documents are required to develop the software. Once we identified and prepared those documents, we have to maintain those documents in a systematic way. That is organize and control changes. If any modifications are performed on those documents, try to maintain those changes also. When during development as well as maintenance also. This is the activity which are going to call software configuration management that's one of the important question in true point of time what is software configuration management so this is the vocabulary how to use the process of identifying organizing and controlling changes to the software during development and maintenance is called software configuration management the software configuration management operates throughout the software development life cycle. Throughout software development life cycle. From development process to finally when application no longer in use up to that stage software configuration management required. Like this VSS we have the other tools also available in the market. Visual source if like this SharePoint CVN concurrent version system subversion these are the other tools also available to do same kind of activity that means software configuration management. Why VSS? So what are the activities we can do in the VSS? Why companies are going to prefer VSS? When you are working in the company, you also going to work with the VSS to maintain your project related documents. Right. There's a reason as a test engineer, you should know the about VSS also important for us. The company point of view when you are going to work. So what it will do, it manages our projects like Different projects may have in their company. All these projects are going to be managers. So that means it will save files into database. Using VSS, we can able to save files into the database. We can share files between project members. You prepare some test cases. Other testing required same test cases. You can publish into the VSS. From there, your colleague can access your test cases. There are the shared files between project members. Save changes in the files into different versions. There's a change control. Any changes are made, that change is also going to be maintained. Recovering older versions at any time. That means today you have the updated document. Again, you may need previous version that also going to be maintained by the VSS. 
VSS will act as common repository where everyone has privileges to save their project related documents and also they can access the documents from it. What is that? VSS will act as common repository where everyone has privileges to save their project documents. Suppose as a manual tester, I prepare test cases. One copy I can maintain in my local system as well as one copy I'm going to maintain into the this VSS server. That's what I'm VSS will act as common repository where everyone has privileges to save their project related documents and also they can access the documents from it. Now my colleague is prepared some document. He also going to publish the documents into the VSS. From there, I can take if I need those test cases like this. So the common repository means here, we have the VSS database. In the database for a project, we can maintain this all the things, PRS, FRS, high level design document, low level design documents, source code document, test plan document, test cases. These all things where we are going to call project documents or artifacts are going to call. Our work products also are going to call. Our work items also are going to say. Okay. Project related documents we are going to call project documents or project artifacts we are going to call artifacts. Right. What is the main purpose of VSS apart common repository, common repository, other things are change control, version control. Not only we can use the VSS for the common repository to share the project related documents, the other two are change control and version control. So what is the difference between change control, version control? Let us understand my here, change control. Today one document I published, demo is the document name. This document is published in the VSS. Okay, now what this VSS will do, later if someone is going to the modification in this document, so it will go into notify that. So on which document modification performed, when they did modification, what type of modification they performed. This information is going to be given by the change VSS. That's why it is called change control. It will maintain all the changes information. Version control means I have the one file here. Today I created one file with 25 test cases. Right. So tomorrow, same document I'm going to take and I'm going to add another 25 documents. 25 test cases I'm going to maintain. I'm going to write new test cases into this document. Same document. Now when I save here, so in my local system, what will happen? So one test case document will be there. So total number of test cases are going to be 50. So test cases we are going to find. So 25 test cases, 25 test cases are there means if I save it, we are going to get the 25 test cases, right? So total number of test cases are going to be in latest version 50 test cases we are going to get. Now what I want to do here I want to get the yesterday version also. Yesterday 25 test cases. Today 25 test cases I prepared. Now when I save it 50 test cases are going to be there but I want to get the yesterday version 25 test case that is not possible in my system means. But if you have the VSS software so update a version maintain Older version also is going to maintain it. That is called version control. <coughs> In simple, change control <coughs> on any project related document. If any changes are made, that information is going to maintain. Version control. Whenever any document is updated, the present version will be updated as well as previous version also is going to maintain. Now, see my here change control as per the changes done for the requirements 
and the code, the respective documents are modified and that modification information maintained. That is called controlling the changes in simple. Version control. Whenever the documents are updated, the corresponding present version also gets updated to the next version. The previous version should also to be maintained for future reference. The previous version will be there, updated version also is there. Whereas this VSS is available into two types. One is VSS server software, other one is VSS client software. VSS server software is installed in organization server machine, whereas VSS client software to be installed into our local machines, that is project member machines. Now, this is the test environment which we have. This is the test environment which we have. Where is the server is there and we have some local systems here. Server and we have the local systems here. So in this server, we have the VSS server software will be installed. In the local machines, we have the VSS client software. So like this, all the local machines that are going to install. Okay, like this. But as a test engineer, you are going to access the VSS client software. Okay. But you want to access this VSS client software, you need login credentials. Who is going to give this login credentials to you? You are not going to create. So who is going to create? Administrator. The VSS administrator will create the users for VSS and he will provide access permissions for all the users, that is the project members, to access VSS repository. To access VSS repository. What type of permissions are going to be provided for the user suites? Read, checkout, check in, add, rename, delete, destroy. This type of permissions are going to be given. The next session, I will going to explain to you as a test engineer how to work with the VSS, how to do add file, checkout, check in these things we are going to discuss in the next session. So try to subscribe my channel. Thank you.